Okay, this article, which is called Public Space, Public World, an Interdisciplinary Project in Art and Anthropology, has been co-authored by myself and my colleague from John Jay College, Professor An Ru Lee, who is originally from Taiwan and is an active anthropologist. In fact, she's on sabbatical there currently. And uh, we work together teaching, co-teaching courses in John Jay's interdisciplinary program. And uh, we taught in particular about public space. Started teaching three years ago with Professor Lee uh, after we conversed about public space. And in this program, we were brought together to teach small classes on um, innovative subjects. So my background in sculpture and her background in anthropology had an interesting merging in public art and public space. So we have taught over three years. We've taught several courses that are all around this subject of public art, public space, cultural backgrounds, and what public art means to people, and especially CUNY students today. The title of the book is New Visions in Public Art, and it was produced by um, the Cultural Affairs Department in Taipei. And it, it's been edited by Peter Xiong, who um, studied partly here at CUNY and then went back and is working with public art. Here at BMCC, I am, um, in fact, this semester introducing students to a kind of public art um, on a small scale and also a kind of collaboration. Um, I also introduce students to a lot of the skills of simply making art because these classes are studio classes. They are meant to be hands-on, and students are intended to come out with skills. In some of my other classes, it's not a studio class, but they learn a lot, more, a lot of um, information, but not necessarily come out with the finished artwork, rather sketches. But in these classes in, with beginning students, most of whom have never done sculpture before, or maybe not since they were five years old, um, they are finding out about some of the steps in making public art, which would be to plan, to sketch, to make small models, and they can make models in clay, in different types of clay, which is exactly what many artists do. And then currently now I'm, I'm in the throes of collaborating on a music performance with um, Professor Eugenia Yao. The subject of her concert is food, songs about food, which has a sort of a lighthearted aura to it. And um, I got excited about that and we talked and we collaborated on suggesting that some of my students would make set pieces that are food. And there's a um, famous precedent which is some food sculptures by Kleis Oldenburg in the Museum of Modern Art, which I sent students to go study as well as look up online and discover that as a subject it fascinated many different artists in different styles. So they are currently making large scale, two foot size set pieces out of cardboard and plaster and paint. And some of those will be in this performance. So they are in fact doing public art now in a, in a rather abbreviated fashion.